Hey everyone, it's Laura from lauraloneandfitness.com. I am live because I have a couple things to share with you. Tomorrow I am going to do my first um, Facebook Live workout for you guys so you guys can work out along with me. Facebook contacted me and they said, hey Laura, we'd love for you to have your own workout live. So, okay, I'm gonna do it. We're gonna be doing standing up abs for you tomorrow at 9 a.m. You're gonna need a set of weights, a five pound, eight pound. Um, we're not gonna go too heavy. So, hey everyone, this is Laura from lauralondonfitness.com where I help busy women get hot and healthy from the inside out through clean eating and um, sensible exercise programs and I know some of you are just signing on so I am talking about exercising with me live tomorrow raise your hand woohoo! if you want to exercise with me live tomorrow we're going to be doing a standing up ab routine be here tomorrow at 9 a.m. on my page if you haven't liked the page give it a thumbs up so you'll know exactly when I go live um, it's going to be a short workout. It's our first workout together live, so I'm going to give it a try. If you haven't been to my YouTube channel or my website, lauralondonfitness.com or lauralondon100 on YouTube, that's where all my workouts are, are, and you can do them along with me, but tomorrow it's live. And today, I wanted to talk to you about holiday eating because the holidays, we just passed Thanksgiving and now we're going into the next holiday and I don't want you to put on the weight. So I have some simple tips for you to avoid that holiday weight gain. So number one, and this is like a no brainer. I say it all the time, but still I'm gonna say it cause you need to hear it. Eat before you go. How many of you are like, oh, we're going to holiday dinner tonight, I'm saving all my calories, and I'm gonna eat, eat my heart out at dinner. That's gonna backfire. Hi, Nancy, thank you. Hope you'll be here tomorrow to work out with me. So, eating before you go. Don't save your calories, it's going to backfire. You need to eat consistently throughout the day, not letting yourself get too hungry. Hello, Adam, not letting that blood sugar drop down because it's going to have the opposite effect. You're gonna think you're saving calories and you're not, and you're gonna gorge, hey, Luann, and you are not going to be a happy camper. All right, so drink water, have a snack before you go. Here's my second tip. My second tip to avoiding the holiday weight gain is to wear some tight clothing. And you're like, Laura, why would I wear tight clothing? And I don't mean a tight form-fitting dress. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about maybe a pair of pants that's a little tight on you or a dress that's just, just a little tight. It's going to remind you throughout that event that you don't want those pants or that dress to get any tighter. So you're going to be mindful of what you're eating and how you're feeling. Does that make sense? Awesome. All right. If you're going to be drinking during the holiday season, the, this is my, my go-to or my tip, especially if you're drinking wine, if you're drinking beer, or if you're drinking, you know, sparkling cider, eggnog. One drink, one glass of water. One drink, one glass of water. Even it out. Drinking alcohol dehydrates you and it packs on calories. It shuts down your digestion. So yeah, you are going to want to alternate between a drink and water. All right, my, another tip is for when you're going and making your plate, think sampler platter. So you're gonna take a sample of everything instead of piling up your plate this high, right? We're talking about avoiding the holiday weight gain, everyone, if you're just joining us. And tomorrow I'm gonna to be doing a Facebook Live standing up ab workout video with you guys, 9 a.m. here on my Facebook page. I can't wait for you to join me. Just gonna need a set of weights. And now we're talking about how to avoid the holiday weight gain. So my next tip was 
thinking uh, sampler platter, right? Hi, Michelle. So we're not piling that plate up. We're gonna have a little bit of everything that we enjoy, but we're not gonna overindulge. So have a plan. And you're not gonna be going back. If it's a buffet table, do not go back to that table twice. You go once, that's it. Enjoy what you have. The holidays are really about being with your friends and family and not how much you can eat. Because you know what happens when you overeat? You wake up with a food coma. Do you know what I'm talking about? I know you do. Raise your hand if you know you've ever had that food coma. You wake up in the morning, you overdid it, and you just feel like you know what. So we're not going to do that this holiday season. Next, if you're going to eat, well, you know what? I want you to eat what you enjoy. So say we're eating dessert. Pick something you're going to eat and eat it with pleasure and gratitude. I want you to change your mindset. I don't want you to say, oh my gosh, I'm gonna eat this, I'm gonna get fat, it's gonna go right to my butt. You shut down di digestion. You're putting your body in a low level state of stress and that's not good. Instead, eat that food with pleasure, enjoy it, eat it slowly. Your digestion is working at full throttle, all right? And last thing, when you are done eating, Go brush your teeth, pop in a piece of gum, natural gum, um, put in a drop of peppermint oil, whatever it is, that fresh breath is going to keep you from not eating anymore. So those are my tips to avoid the holiday weight gain. And I just wanted to come on and say hi because you can join me tomorrow for a live Facebook workout, standing up abs. You're going to need a light pair of weights and we're gonna rock it out tomorrow all right everyone hey cindy how are you doing girl good to see you so i was just talking about tips to avoid the holiday weight gain and and joining me tomorrow here 9 a.m in my living room dining room um for a standing up at workout. I hope you guys will join me. If you have any questions, leave them below here and I will see you at nine o'clock tomorrow. Get ready to sweat. Bye-bye everyone.